So after a millennia, because seriously, that's how long it feels like we finally got some good news, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I, I cannot believe it either, bro. I really can't. We're gonna get into the story because, yeah, PlayStation 6, we're hearing 2027, 2028, Bruh. right? We got a long time to go, right? But we're hearing that PS5 Pro is gonna be coming out this year. What about that? Vita 2 was, was leaking out, but forget about all of this, right, guys? Today, we gotta talk about... The backwards compatibility, man. Everybody's shaking oh, right now, man. Oh, shaking. Like, like the video if you want to get the backwards compatibility. Dislike the video if you don't want it. <laughs> I want to know where you at, but check this. Roll it. A new test tool for backwards compatibility, Returnal Studios' next game, and a big change for the next generation of PlayStation. Those are the stories we're going to cover today, and if Hold you can up. hit that like button on the video, yeah. thank you to those that... Yeah, like and subscribe, guys. Like and subscribe. Do it, and as always, it's very much appreciated mm. first yes or no have you finished returnal or not we're gonna be talking about the studio's next game uh i never really bought it though uh how many of you guys actually bought it let me know now, diving into the second story of the video, a big change for PlayStation. Reading from Tweaktown, Microsoft is cooking up its next-generation Xbox console with industry analyst Matt Piscatella saying that it'll be all digital and that Microsoft will walk away from physical copies of next-gen Xbox games. This isn't too much of a surprise, where earlier this year, we reported that Microsoft had huge Xbox layoffs as the industry was moving into an all-digital gaming world. The crazy part here is that recently, Sony did shut down one of their manufacturing, where they manufactured the, the, the physical discs and whatnot, like the blu ray blu-ray disc i did cover that right so yeah it, it's it's happening it's happening now the real question is that is playstation 6 gonna support discs or not because already as you know it ps5 comes with the physical version and also the digital digital version as well there's a reason why they're doing it and there's a reason why they're not going 100 percent in digital but that's their goal right because if they were to only make ps5 digital only oh man there would be a whole lot of backlash and vice versa and the same for for uh, for xbox as well but eventually that's gonna come and i'll link to that video in just a second okay as tell us said the xbox gamers should expect to see physical games leaving shelves sooner rather Damn. than later. Piscatella expects that Sony and Nintendo do something similar, but it will be a couple of generations from now. Piscatella said that PlayStation should go full digital with the PlayStation 7. So, Damn. for the Xbox side, we're kind of already seeing them move towards that digital route. Look at their latest... With, with like, Game Pass and, yeah, it's uh, this rumor is something that we covered, I believe, a couple of months ago. Keep in mind, it's just a rumor, so don't believe it 100%, but let's be real. Eventually, it's 100%, right? Is it gonna be a hundred percent thing but let's just say the next xbox not sure but that's what it's being reported right now uh playstation 6 i guess it's safe to say it's not gonna be but you still don't know and the prediction the current prediction is that it's gonna be all digital with ps7 so think about it already i made a video i will link you that video in just a little bit where we learned that sony is shutting down one of their manufacturing company and a lot of people, like you guys were commenting, uh, yeah, it, it sucks, but nowadays I just buy the games digitally, right? So a lot of people have moved on to digital games. Everybody knows that you're gonna own nothing and be happy, and uh, everybody's kind of like, yeah, like, uh, I'm still gonna buy the games digitally. Everybody knows it, but it's one of those uh, things uh, with convenience, I guess, so nobody's really caring too much, but deep down, we all know it's bad, so... Xbox consoles coming out later this year. They have a fully digital Xbox Series X console coming alongside, of course, their already all digital Xbox Series S console. They're also now going to sell a physical two terabyte Xbox Series Wait X console it. that's a hundred dollars more than the original. It's a push to move people towards the digital side when they see the prices all lined up together like that. It obviously the best option is probably going to be the Xbox Series X that's four ninety nine. That's probably what people Man. are going to go for on the PlayStation. Bro, I can go to China right now. I can get it for two pennies, bro. Like. <laughs> What are we talking? Four hundred forty-nine dollars, bro. As a brown man, I demand. Okay, as a brown man, I demand PlayStation Six, PlayStation Five, all of that to be for twenty dollars. Xbox Two also be for twenty dollars. Yeah, make it happen, man. Like inflation is through the roof right now. Like the video if you agree, man. Like yeah, decrease the prices, bro. Decrease the prices right now, bro. PlayStation side, of course, they also started the generation off with an all digital version of the PlayStation Five as well. At least there now, anyways, it's a fifty dollar difference between the physical and digital, so it's not that hard of a push to the digital side on the on the PlayStation side of things. We'll see how this goes. Of course, I wouldn't be surprised to see a PlayStation Seven that's all digital, considering that's 10 years from now and by then i wouldn't be surprised to see people streaming games as well more normally compared to now but all digital that's not a surprise to me in 10 years but you guys let me know if you think the playstation 7 will be digital only let me know down in the comments below yeah 10 years oh man that's gonna be 
VR and now diving like... into the final story of the video, the new oh. backwards compatibility testing tool. Reading from WCCF Tech, Sony and Mark Cerny, the architect behind PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5, might finally be cracking the code on one of PlayStation community's longest running desires, PS... Finally. Cracking the code. What? What are you talking about, bro? This should have been in PS4, though. This should have been in PS5 already, but I guess better late than never. But is it gonna be what we think it's gonna be? Because I know a lot of people, uh, backwards compatibility, when you hear that, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Because in my mind, I'm thinking about like, it's gonna be, uh, you use the physical disc of your PS3 and put it inside PS5 and it plays. That's the type of backwards compatibility I want. I wanna use my GTA 4 PS3 disc. I wanna play Black Ops 2. PS3 disc on PS5 as well. I want to play like all, all the God of War, the older God of War games as well, right? Yeah, make like PS1, PS2 backwards compatibility uh, as well. Like we want all of that, bro. Like what? What? We want all of that. You think I'm crazy? You think I'm crazy? I want all of that, bro. What we talking here, bro? What we talking? You pay good money for that, bro. You pay good money for this. This new backwards compatibility on PlayStation 5. A newly this is a bare minimum, man. This is a bare minimum. We found patent could be the key to making this dream a reality. The patent titled Backwards Compatibility Testing of Software in a Mode that Attempts to Induce Skew outlines okay. a sophisticated method for ensuring older software runs smoother on newer hardware. The patent describes a system where a device, in this case, presumably the PlayStation 5, can run in a special timing test mode. This mode is designed to deliberately induce skew, basically creating timing variations that might mess with how software runs. Think of it as a stress test for old games, making sure they can handle the new environment without breaking a sweat. So why does this matter? Well, PlayStation 3's architecture was notoriously tricky thanks to its cell processor. This complexity has made it tough to get PS3 games running on newer hardware, but with this new testing mode, yeah, Sony yeah, yeah. could simulate the PlayStation 3's unique quirks on the PlayStation 5, identifying any potential issues and tweak the compatibility settings accordingly. So for me personally, looking into this, this could really be a tool used for any backwards compatibility testing. They don't reference a console here from what I see. This could be for the PS3 or this could be for the PS2, PS1, or this could be yeah. for Sony's next generation console. This could Yo, be. Imagine, imagine like this is something that is for just PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2. <laughs> if these suckers miss that golden era of PlayStation 3, bro, I, they already did miss it, right? Like, what are we talking about? That's one thing that Xbox does have. I know some of the Xbox Andes are probably watching this video. They're probably like doing helicopters right now. They're probably like, yeah, 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 yeah. guys, come on, man. Don't laugh, bro. Don't come on, man. What are we doing? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, this is something that Xbox had for years, damn it. And Sony, in this department, they're years behind, bro. This is a basic feature. We should have that. We should have had that. I mean, we don't have it, so we should get that, right? Like the video if you agree. Be uh, them trying to make sure the PlayStation, that PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4 games run flawlessly on the PlayStation 6, considering its launch is probably three to four years away from now. And Mark Cerny has stated it takes man. about four years to make a new console, so they could be working away on that. And this patent is a part of that. I do hope, of course. Could you imagine like PlayStation 6 in like what three, four years from now? I can, bro. PS5 just came out, bro. Yeah, it came out in 2020. It's gonna be almost, uh, it's almost four years. And, and what games we got? We literally barely got any any games though. God of War Ragnarok, Spider Man 2, and, and both of these games. Uh, I'm not, yeah, Spider Man 2 not, but like God of War, yes. What, what else we got, right? Yeah, okay, Horizon Forbidden West. No, uh, what I, I'm not trying to like say that we didn't get anything. We did get some games, but in comparison to the PS3 era, in comparison to the PS4 era, we didn't get that much. And God of War Ragnarok, I'm sorry, but we didn't see that leap in terms of like graphics, in terms of, the graphics were good. I said it before, I'll say it again. There's no, I got no complaints about the graphics. The graphics were amazing. The story wise, um, yeah, it, it was also good, but I, if I could pick one, I would always go with God of War 2018. But why, why? Because it felt like really uh, new for the time. It felt fresh, okay, so that's one of the big factor as well. And also the story felt like that it was very concise and the stuff was very well put together. God of War Ragnarok on the other side, yeah, it was just lengthy at times in other aspects. It was still good, don't get me wrong. Like I, I'm a big God of War fan, I love all of them. But if I, if you wanted me to pick just one game, I would 100% go with God of War 3. But if you're like, okay, talk about the new God of War games. So far we only got two of them. so 
therefore I would just go with God of War 2018 and then Ragnarok, right? So, it, yeah, we, we didn't get any true next-gen game, like, how... And, and same goes, uh, same goes for Xbox 2, I'm not, like, trying to hate on PlayStation, I, uh, I have PlayStation myself, okay? But let's be real, bro, like, where is that real next-gen game? Xbox didn't get it, PlayStation didn't necessarily get it. God of War, Spider-Man 2? decent games but not necessarily next-gen games for xbox I, I guess their next-gen game is probably microsoft flight simulator right, <laughs> right? like those I, I mean starfield they were hyping it up like crazy and we all saw how starfield got tra uh, treated so we start seeing the fruits of playstation 3 emulation the later this year with the killzone 20th anniversary as i've stated multiple times before please sony please don't just release re-release actually those games on cloud streaming they were already there years ago and it's not really a celebration for you to just throw them back in remaster those games killzone 2 and 3 and remake one if you want that's the ultimate <laughs> way to celebrate the franchise or obviously release the emulated versions of those games to be played locally on the playstation 5 so ps2 emulation for killzone 1 and ps three emulation for kill zone two and kill zone three of course we'll see how that goes this tool again guys check out this video on the screen we recently had big news about gta 6 we have a new video leaking out as well not sure if you guys were able to see it or not check out this video on the screen if you have already seen it then check out the video on the left